artist Lillian Gray and today's lesson is all about finishing our beautiful chicken sculptures. Okay, so for this lesson you guys are going to need some sandpaper, quite a coarse um, sponge and some acrylic paint with an array of paintbrush sizes, so you know small, medium, large and as well as a mask and some clear spray paint. Um, so that's all the basic things I'm going to use. Uh, remember this is air dry clay, so it's not like we can glaze this baby and put it back in the oven. Um, we are kind of hacking the pottery environment with all the expensive tools of a baking oven and all those things. Um, so stay tuned and let's see how this beautiful chicken turns out. So the first thing you want to do is you want to really smooth out your edges. You can either use your sandpaper for the parts that's really rough and if that's too coarse you can always opt for a sponge and the rough side of the sponge would also do a great job. Make sure you smooth out everything and get rid of all the dust before you start painting. First, I'm going to be using a pointy brush and I would like my polka dots to really stand out. So what I'm going to do is I am going to insert this black paint into this um, little indent crevice of the polka dot and I am just going to make sure that I've really filled that. Um, it won't look like this when we're done, you'll see. Be very careful with black Black is like arsenic, you only need a little bit, right? Otherwise, it is really going to make all your other colors muddy. So I am definitely going to wait for this black to dry before I'm going to start putting on these beautiful primary colors. And I'm working on my, on my sculpture wheel just because it makes life much easier. Um, and I can just quickly turn it and flip it around to make sure I get to every single little area. going to just put some drama in the tail and everywhere the feather like pops out I'm also just going to add some black Everywhere I wanted to add a bit of drama, I've done black. I'm washing my brush immediately. Um, don't ever leave your brush inside the water jar and always squeeze out and just get your tip back to the way that you wanted it. Remember, this is acrylic, so you need to wash your brush ASAP. So the black is also almost instantly dry because the clay is super absorbent and it is acrylic. So I can move on to my other colors. I'm now going to paint in the red and the, the mouth and the bill and then I'm going to start doing the body and the tail. All right, I just want to show you that you're not supposed to have that much paint on your brush that goes into the crevices now. You want to keep the crevices black. So this is literally called dry brushing. You've got no water with your paint. I never put water with my acrylic. And I only have the tip of my brush filled with paint. And I'm just brushing over. So you guys can see I'm keeping the drama of the black that I've added. I'm not covering that.
so I'm going to make sure my colors are nice and solid. As you can see here, you still see the black going through the white. So I'm taking a sponge with no water, right? And I'm just going to lightly press, dabby, dabby, dabby. And you want to just give your white a solid appearance, but not covering the black that's in the little uh, crevices, because this really makes your chicken pop. Um, so you can see how nice this is starting to look. Anywhere that you've got your paint dirty, like here i got some red in, go and clean that up with a small brush. Remember, your art is only as good as, as well as you finish, right? doesn't help you spend all these hours creating a sculpture and then you rush the end. Rather spend your time. If you get over it, let it dry, come back. You can always finish it when you've got more chutzpah again. Um, but really, really concentrate to finish well. That I like which is a bit unconventional is I like actually painting with earbuds and using them I use them in my paintings I use them almost everywhere but especially these ones that's got the sharp point where you could just really get in where you want to get in or you could I use them as a little sponge where I can now go and sponge on the dots without getting the paintbrush um, here would go stray right they will go wherever they want to go, where I feel like I've got a bit more control with the earbud for just making that dot green. done painting our beautiful chicken i'm gonna let my acrylic dry it really takes about like seven minutes depends on the weather outside as well but it will dry quite quickly uh if it's raining outside you can chase the acrylic with a hair dryer if you want it to dry quicker and then so you guys will have various options with finishing if you want a matte finish you can use a matte clear fast dry spray paint right if you want more of a glossy shiny one you do the shiny spray paint if you want that thick glazed look the insane like this is you know pottery that was made in an oven you're going to be using artist varnish you can just buy a cheap one and you want to coat the chicken quite thick it will take about two days to properly dry so it's a much more tedious process but it's really worth the look because it looks epic if you do do that and if you even give it like three coats of see-through varnish, it really gets that glazed, amazing feeling. All right, I'm going to be um, doing the varnish so you guys can just see what that looks like. I've put it on cling wrap or glad wrap. Um, I like working on a plastic when I'm doing the varnish because you don't want to work on a cloth from where it snaps off and breaks a piece of your clay after it's dry. So the plastic I find you can peel off quite easily and if there's any varnish droplets you can just sand it slightly off. Um, I use quite a lot. Um, I have a cheap one here which is Zalkel which is just like a student varnish. It's not a very expensive varnish and I like dripping it into all the little crevices so it really gets that glazed look. Um, and then I'm just going to lightly brush it in with a dry brush. As you can see, she's got this beautiful glazed look now. So I'll let her dry overnight and she should be completely done and ready for grandma's kitchen by tomorrow. I'm artist Lillian Gray. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it and be sure to subscribe and not miss out on our next art project and the next amazing hacks and tricks.